Hey everybody, it's John aka Smelly Telly and I'm hanging out here at moremusicandmoreguitars.com and today we're doing kind of a first impressions. We literally just got this and unboxed it. We're all pretty excited about it. This is the Fender American Ultra Lux Stratocaster and it's in the color that you see before you that is something that's kind of sunbursty and reddish. So it'll be a thing on the screen that tells you exactly what the color is. So let's go through some of the features on this. This is definitely a custom shop type of feel guitar. Um, it's got some pretty fantastic features. We'll start up here at the headstock, locking tuners, big plus there, dig that. Notice that it has kind of the matching headstock, which is, you know, it's an aesthetic thing. I think it's a it's really cool. I was telling Larry I'm a sucker for that kind of thing. Uh, it's maple neck, of course, you can see that. It does have rolled edges, stainless steel frets though, and it has a 10 to 14 inch radius, so just means it gets flatter as you go this way, which makes things like string bending a little bit easier to do. It has a D profile, which to me, I will say is feels a little bit closer to thin than it does the opposite of thin, you know. Um, it's comfortable, but I wouldn't say that it's a handful either. So we get to the body and it does have a contoured heel on the back. And you can see in this area, we get a little stratty with three strat pickups. These are the ultra noiseless vintage. So obviously they're not completely noiseless. They do make noise, but they have a vintage type of sound to them. Five-way selector switch, you know, volume, tone, tone. It does have the S1 and the S1 basically in position one, it'll add the neck pickup in with the bridge and in position two, it adds the neck position into the second or the neck pickup into the second position. We'll go through some sounds here in a little bit. And, you know, this is a strap bridge. There probably is something about this bridge because it does feel different, but I have no idea what it is. <laughs> like it really, it looks like it could be titanium or uh, the stuff that they made Wolverine's claws out of and Marvel. I don't know. But anyways, it's got, it's got a strap bridge on it in tremolo system. All right, let's go through and let's get some sounds. So we'll start in the bridge position. Today I am running this into a Wampler Tumnus and that into the uh, Tone Master Deluxe Reverb by Fender. It's a pretty good combination. So not completely clean, but not completely dirty either. And we'll start with the bridge in regular bridge, bridge position. <laughs> in the neck position and this is probably where I would live if I had this guitar. <laughs> very nice, very smooth sounding. take it back out we'll go into position two it's got that kind of squawky strat thing position two thing we'll add in the neck pickup with the s1 switch i like it Take S1 back out. Now we'll just go to position three, which there's nothing, it's just position three. Position four, we get squawky again. And then finally to the neck position, which is you know, that's where strats sound best to me, I, I think, anyway. <laughs> Let's run through a couple of completely clean sounds. We'll start with the bridge pickup. That's without the S1. 
So Larry was wondering, does the tone control affect the bridge pickup? It definitely does. Which of course comes in handy because sometimes the bridge pickup on a Strat can be fairly bright and biting. Now, bridge with the neck engaged with its with the S1 switching without with the tone control still works. And position two. S1. Take that one back out. Middle position. Position four. And finally, neck position. All right, I'm gonna give you some overall first impressions of this guitar out of the box. It plays fantastic. The uh, compound radius is, that's a big, 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 big <laughs> upgrade on a guitar like this. I think the pickups sound great. I do, I like the S1 engaged in positions one and two. I think it smooths it out really nice. Position two. Position two I like either way, but it's nice to have that, you know, you have a couple of other tonal options as compared to, you know, a typical S style guitar. The uh, locking tuners, it's a no brainer. That is absolutely an upgrade. And I dig the way it looks as well. So. Um, my first impressions on this, and like I said, we just got this in, and by the time the video comes out, I don't know if it'll be on our system or it'll already be sold. Uh, everything is going so fast today. It's really cool. Um, I don't really have a comment on stainless steel frets. Um, to, it's frets, they're going to last longer, but uh, I don't think I've ever noticed the tonal difference. Some people say that there is, but it's frets, so I don't know. But that's an upgrade because you won't have to get them refretted again, probably ever, unless you or take a chisel to the frets or something like that, which I don't know why you would do. So yeah, this is the Fender uh, Ultra, American Ultra Lux guitar. Just like I knew that's what it was called without having to read the thing down here. My name is John. You can call me Smelly. This has actually been a lot of fun. I hope that I'll see you in the next video.